Greetings, I'm Captain Ridge, and I'm back with the Sunday Sampler. This week, we're going to be taking a quick look at Shadowbug. This is a, I guess, a platformer. That's what they're calling on the store page. And as per usual, this is a release copy and actually, and also being released a few days before the game releases on Steam. This, I should be able to tell from the UI, <laughs> this is a mobile port. So this is already out on iTunes and Google Play. So. Uh, this is more just talking about the Steam release or the Steam release as per a few days before the game releases. And yeah, I got thoughts on this game, as you would expect, because I'm doing a video on it. So, let's just dive right into this. This game has 36 levels with 6 boss fights. And I am on... Oh, that's the thing, is they don't give me... Oh, there we go. If you level 22 of 36 and I have 45 minutes played. This is potentially a very, very, very short game. But then again, this also, this may come down to just a difference of expectations between a mobile game and PC game. I don't know. And also the fact that a lot of these levels are, well, a lot of the replay value in this will be getting three, I, I guess, well, shurikens instead of stars hey it's ninja stars <laughs> uh, by getting the three ninja stars shurikens in, in each level which requires a certain amount of time a certain amount of enemy well actually points which we'll get into that when i play a level uh and just uh also finding the uh, extra little bit but the thing is that you're not ever incentivized to do any of these because always unlocks the levels in sequence as long as you complete them that is so yeah it's just one of those things that it feels like a mobile design choice that you, you can see there is one that i got the big glowy thing for him but it's a mobile design choice that doesn't really make a lot of sense in this and the fact that this game is so damn short is a bit of a shame because i'll be frank i actually kind of like this game if you could forgive a lot of problems with this game for one the length but also i'm having full screen issues with this game this game uh actually let's go back to the main menu this is the options menu uh they actually include a sound slider which is nice but no proper full screen or uh, windowed mode but this is not giving me a proper full screen on my system and i'm running windows 10 current uh, version for when the video is released and the fact that if I mouse down at the bottom of my screen, I get the taskbar is a little troublesome for this game. Okay, it's a lot troublesome for this game. But that's it. It's uh, it's just one of those things that there is this can be fixed in patches, but I'm not sure if they're going to. And this is also a small development team. Let's just go ahead and dive into an early level pipe fest. And I'll uh, t show oh, I'll show you the uh, how the game plays. You may notice, wow, this looks a lot like Limbo, huh? <laughs> uh, this is sort of Ninja Limbo. There is no jump button whatsoever. You have A and D for movement left and right, and then you click on things to kill them, and that's how you traverse the level. And uh, this area is actually very tough to do because, or at least that last area, because I'm going down, and yeah. And that is the, oh, got you to kill as well. And that is the level. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Tom being able to complete the level and these number of bits. I don't know what this is. And they never really explain it. I wonder if this has the big glowy thing, but oh, that's beside the point. And these levels are very short. I mean, you can see my Tom there, 19 seconds, 30 seconds, 24 seconds, 32. 12. Granted, the early levels are obviously tutorial levels, but if you go back here, you know, a minute 50, a minute 50, a 254, but that's just, you know, I think a couple of these are where the game actually starts to take off the gloves. And a lot of the challenge of this game relies on, a, honestly, a lot of timing and more than anything else, more than platforming, just be able to uh, attack enemies at, at the right time. Because sometimes you'll have enemies that 
if you attack them immediately, you'll be pulled into spikes. And the thing also is that the level... Oh, actually, let's go to the very first level. It's the best place to showcase that. Oh. Is that the level doesn't matter all that much because... You'd see, this is a hard barrier, but attacking something causes me to go through it. It's just one of those really, really oddities that requires you to change your mind about a lot of how platformers work, particularly a very quick platformer like this. And there are moments in this game where of uh, the movement just feels really good, but that's was that, yeah. Once again, it's the technical issues that I'm having problems with the possible length of the game because, like I said, once I'm getting to the later stages, the stages are taking a lot longer. As a matter of fact, this boss fight took me for five minutes, and that was mostly due to it being more of a puzzle fight than anything else. But these are still very short stages, and I'm over. I'm, um, what, two-thirds of the way through the level? Or two, through the game? 22 out of 36? Yeah, that is quite the thing. And also, on these longer stages, let's just pick one uh, pretty much at random. I don't recall this one offhand. They have mid-level checkpoints, but there is no input on when the checkpoint goes off. So... I'm left completely guessing if I even hit a checkpoint. And honestly, sometimes the levels are a little bit arbitrary on exactly where a checkpoint is. I mean, I imagine that it's you know, a certain percentage of the level. But, and here's the big but, it comes down to, you know, did you have a long sequence of difficult jumps just now? And that could be very, very annoying. Like right there, I got caught by a timing issue. And I'm back here. Not too far back. But then there's... Uh, there was one level, and I'm blanking on the number. I do apologize for uh, that. And that... I went through a very long jumping sequence. And I hadn't hit a checkpoint. And I screwed up a jump. And I had to go through another very long, difficult sequence. Like, I just got a new best time. A minute seven. Yeah, I knocked, what, 50 seconds off my time here? <laughs> and I'm um, seven seconds off uh, the par time, but yeah, that's me sitting here talking as well. I wonder if I can find that level. It's probably one of the ones I have a longer time on. But it's just, there's no absolutely no feedback. I mean, you just saw, I went back to a checkpoint. I had no feedback that I had a checkpoint uh, at all. And it, it's one of those things that it's a little touch, but it makes a world of difference in the game. And well, and also, well, let's go ahead and do the first boss. The first boss is, well, according, at least according to the developer on the Steam forums, and granted, there's not a lot of traffic on the Steam forums. And I don't expect this to you know, be a very popular game, but eh, that's beside the point. This was a review copy that looked interesting, so that's why I'm playing it. And on the, yeah. The first boss is the only one with a checkpoint at all. Granted, that can be you know, not that big a deal because a lot of uh, levels in this game are exceptionally short. Okay, there we go. It, it, this really pains me to say because it, it's tough for me to recommend, partly due to just the length of the game. Oh, ah, damn, missed. But you can definitely tell that this has uh, mobile roots, to, uh, can't you? <laughs> Just from the way the game plays. And this can be played with a controller. But. Honestly I don't. Think it plays all that well. I tried it a little bit and. Just gave up on it. And. There we go. And it is a shame because. You know, this. Isn't a 
bad game. There's one hit. Now we have a stage here where it goes doom doom doom. Gotta get on this side of it. Wait for you to do your thing. Come on, do your thing. Finish your thing. Aha! I hit your weak point. Okay. It's coming from the right. I avoid it. But yeah, this is the reason why this boss has a checkpoint in that you know you have that long march up and that's the first boss <laughs> with a three shuriken uh rating as well barely with 308 of 300 uh, 38 308 with the power 300 on that and wow i shattered the par tom but yeah there we go i think we're pretty much done here. This releases on July 21st on Steam, but like I said, it is currently available on mobile platforms, and maybe it's a little bit better there. I don't know. I haven't played it on mobile, and there's absolutely no indication on what this game is going to be uh, price-wise on Steam, so it's a complete question mark for me. Uh, I do know on mobile, on iTunes and Google Play, it is $3.99, so I'm expecting either that or $5 on Steam, which which includes the PC development tax that always seems to happen with mobile ports, which is a little bit disheartening, but uh, that's just how it goes, I guess. And it really comes down to, do you want to play this on PC over mobile? Because, yeah, that's... This is a very, very short game, or at least it seems to be very short. And it's... And I'm going to hold off on my recommendation or not, just because I don't know the price point on Steam. It's a wait and see, and maybe a sale game. I don't know. But, but I will say that I did have fun with it, so if that's your barometer <laughs> for some reason, then there you go. And I will say that it is impressive for, a, I do believe this is a two-man studio, and I do hope that they you know, have a more substantial game in the future if they go to PC again. But I think that wraps us up. As always, constructive feedback is greatly appreciated in the comments below, or if you don't really have anything to say but want to let me know that you enjoyed or hated this, hit the appropriate buttons, and subscribe if you want to see more of the Sunday Sampler or my other content. And I do apologize for this coming out on Monday morning. Just, you know, some issues personally that I can record Saturday night to re release this on Sunday, so... This is a Monday Sunday. But hey, it's Sunday somewhere, right? That's how days work, right? Anyway, that wraps us up for this time. I'll be back, well, not quite uh, in a week. I'll be back, uh, hopefully, Sunday with, who knows, maybe something else. I'll see you then.